Alrighty, you're here with not another game collector. I'm going to show you how to put PSP games onto your PSP Go via your PS3. You want to plug in your data transfer cable slash charge cable into your uh, PS3. And then you'll want to plug it into your PSP Go, like so. Uh, and then it'll bring up right here, which you cannot currently see. It'll say USB mode. And you'll want it to stay saying that while you're trying to install or put other kinds of media like music, movies, or games or anything. So now we're going to go up here to my TV. And as you can see right now, here's some music. Um, if you wanted to put this on the PSP, then you would go click on it like that. And you would just copy it. And do that. I already have the song on there, so we're just going to say cancel and stop doing that. Now, if you wanted to put a movie or something, uh, whatever you got, I've got a bunch of different stuff here from some things, so you can just click on those, and the same thing goes. You go to copy, and it'll start installing it on the PSP Go. Now, there's certain files you have to have, like certain formats of it, in order to put them on there. Uh, it doesn't accept everything. Some of them will show up as like, so that's something you kind of have to figure out yourself while downloading movies. I can do a separate video for that, but now you're going to see the PSP and PS1 games and things like that that I have on my PS3 for uh, throwing on the PSP. Uh, as long as they're in this bubble mode, that means they're kind of like just a, st uh, a file sitting on your PS3 to be installed to the PSP go, because you can install some PS1 games to the PS3. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what would you, you would do if you didn't have any games on there. And you're going to go to the PlayStation Store and open it up. And then it will take a few seconds. My TV's kind of old, so it does some weird stuff. It, come on. Alright, so now the PlayStation Store is opening up. Um... So I think Sony is going to be kind of calling it quits on the PlayStation 3 store eventually. I'm not sure when. Um, as of right now, I don't have any you know, specific times when that would happen. If I find out, I'll let you guys know. Uh, basically, now you're going to want to go down to your view downloads. As you can see, it's right there. I'm currently on PS Music. You go down to view downloads there. And then it'll bring up all your games and stuff over here. Now I've got stuff here for my PS3, oops, for my PS3 and uh, for other systems as well, like my Vita. Now there's certain games that you can put on there obviously. Um, I'll show you one of the quick ones that you could install if you wanted. I got Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. You can put that on the PS3, so you'd click right there where you see the little download arrow and it'll start downloading it to your PS3 in a file so that you can slap it onto your PSP Go. I'm not going to do that because like I said I already have stuff on my PS3 for that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back out of here and I'm going to show you how you would install the game to the PSP Go as soon as it loads. Okay so now I'm going to go down to uh, Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver just because it's a quick game to put on there. You're going to copy it. Uh, I'm going to have to sit here for a few minutes to wait for it to download. And then I'll show you guys where it should show up on the PSP when it's done. Um, if you guys have any other questions on different ways to download games to the PSP Go, um, let me know down in the comments. Uh, you can use a computer to put some games on there still, I believe. Um, I think Sony did close down their Media Go or Go Media website, so you can't use that anymore. I went to go try to get some stuff. Uh, put on my PSP Go the other day using that. Um, I was able to find a website that had the file on it that I could download that was safe to use, so I did do that. I can put some links in the description below for that um, for you guys. Um, hoping this goes a little bit quicker. Sorry for having to make you guys wait for a while. Come on. My whole point in these videos is to try to keep them kind of short. Um, this is definitely not being short. I just wanted to show you guys where the game was going to be located here. Um, if you made it up to this point and I, it's just me still talking here, you can fast forward probably. 
I would say go about another 30 seconds ahead and then you won't have to sit and watch all this. Sorry about this. I haven't really started editing my videos much, so like, I really don't have any way to make this kind of shorter. I don't have software for it currently. Boom. Okay. So now it's done. So now you're, it's copied to the PSP Go. It's back out of there. And then you'll grab the PSP Go. As you can see here, I disconnected it from the PS3. Now you're going to go over to your games, and you're going to click on here, and then right there is Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, and that's as simple as that, and then you can click on it, and then it will bring it up to start playing it. Um, as always, if you guys liked the video and it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, please share with your friends, and have a great one, and thanks for watching.